Hey guys, and welcome back to Fun Time Moms. I'm Ashley. And I'm Alicia. And we are here today with Catrice, AKA the Funny Mama. Hey y'all. Tell them a little bit about yourself, Funny Mama. Um, I'm a mom of two boys. I mean, okay, they have me drinking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, I'm a mama okay. two boys and I'm like I'm a, I'm a spray spray wide. Wide. <laughs> I'm an author. I am a um I'm a cookbook author, I'm a chef, and I'm a content, What's creator. Creator. content creator. I am a creative um why do I never remember my book when people... Syrup Drizzle, yes, a collection of recipes go. moms will love, and I'm currently working on uh, volume two. Number two. Volume two. Yes. So has anything happened with your kids, Catrice, lately that made you feel like, hmm, maybe I should have swallowed? Oh, my... It's a question. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a question. <laughs> I mean... I don't think that deep, but if we're saying something that they just get on my fucking nerves, yes. Two things. CJ got his driver's license and the very next morning was asking if he could take my car at 6 a.m. to go. And, you know, it was pitch black mm. at 6 a.m. to go get his hair cut. At 6 a.m.? Yes, on a chest. Yeah. He's, he's lost his mind, so yeah. that was shut down. And then Ashton's dad just called me this morning and said that last night when he told Ashton, it was time to go to bed. Ashton said, fuck that bed. Oh. What? Now, Ashton has never used that kind of language in my house what? at all. So clearly that's his father's bed. influence. Exactly. Clearly. It's a bad bed, though. Because it's not be coming exactly. from over here. It can't be coming from over here. I don't even use fucking that way. If he would have said, what the fuck? Or like, bitch? Or something like that. Then yeah, but that's definitely wow. his bad. I so. want to know what kind of bed they have from Landon. Thank on. you. Yeah, because like... Ash shouldn't speak that strongly. It's something wrong. Because he's so sweet. Rocks. He's so yeah, sweet. Like, he's not even like that. So I was like, mm, or are you lying? Mm, I'm going to go with Ashton on that one. Thanks. Me yeah, too. I don't, I can't. Okay, so that. let's talk about national holidays of the week. And a lot of these holidays have to do with food. So it's, this, it's the perfect day for Ooh. Catrice to be here. Yes. So 11 6, November 6, it's National Nachos Day. Mm, I'm not that big of a nachos oh, I person. I love some nachos. I feel like if they're in front of me, I would be like, oh, let me have yeah. some. But if they're on the menu, I'm not going to be like... Oh, I'm ordering nachos. No, Extra cheese. No, that's how I am. I'm like, Sour it's cream. definitely like happy hour. Like, if you're out with your coworkers yeah. and like a mix of mingle thing, you're like, all right, safe yeah. back. Yeah. If, if, you're on, if you're drunk, too, I feel yeah. like, okay. Now, some nachos I've had, they do slap when they slap. But yeah. it's just not a thing I'm going for. Oh, no, I've yeah, got nachos, too. like, for the house. And they're, like, me. and I don't, no, I don't like, but you know, mm-hmm. picking about stuff in my teeth. And I feel like tortilla chips be, like, getting oil in your teeth. Yeah, and then I feel like, like you got to like eat that. them right there very quickly or they get soggy. Then it's, and like, like the oh, ratio. it's mushy. And then everybody putting their hands in that with the sauce. No, you don't, yeah, don't want to share. The, ra- no. the ratio of toppings and stuff. Yeah, it's it's like then weird. the bottom chips on my hands. Okay, let's move it on. Like, we're not, It's also National Saxophone Day. Have any of you ever blown the Hey, my dad used to play that. Is Bill Clinton your dad? <laughs> you notice why black like people say he was one of us because he played the saxophone. Because wow. he was dead. Was he good at it? He, yeah. I, I feel he used to wear like a little boy. A little, I feel like during like like his little campaign. Little what is it? The one that, no, a paper boy hat. Like yeah. a little paper boy I feel boy like during his campaign days, he like, I remember he was on like, I want to say Arsenio Hall. He played you, the saxophone during his campaign. Played the saxophone. I promise. Oh, okay. First one, but, yeah, this Arsenio show, show. Was Arsenio he running Arsenio. already? At this I think time? he was running for um, president at the time. Wow, we have. Whoa, I've we have got some characters. <laughs> we let anybody in. Who's oh, our president? We got a talent, a talent portion of the election. <laughs> 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 Bill blows. 
Oh, that's what wow. Monica said. Oh, well, I think Monica was the blower. <laughs> yeah, but we don't know. Well, we well, Bill, reciprocated. well, we don't know. Okay, 11 7 is a day Catrice and I shared together. It is our giving birthday. Wow. Yes, and, so, and it's our boys' birthday. Yes. But more importantly, it's the day it's, we it's gave birth. It's the day we gave birth. Uh, Antonio is turning 16. So, do you say like sweet 16 to boys? No. no. Just happy 16. No. Just happy 16. Yeah, because he hasn't even I feel said. Like sweet 16 is sassy. He hasn't even. <laughs> He hasn't even said like he really wants to do much for his birthday, so I'm just like, yeah, I think they're in the stage. What did Sean do for Sweet Sixteen? I don't even remember. He had a party, not for sixteen. Yes, he did. That was his. That was his drip. Wasn't that his drip party? No, that was that was not. That was like fourteen. No, it wasn't. That was. It was like 14. Sean is like 30 now. I know. No, he is not that, 30. That was like 14. Okay, <laughs> maybe it was. And 16 it is, got in trouble, remember? Ma'am, and happy birthday to CJ <laughs> as well. <laughs> Who's turning 17. Yeah. 17 to 16. Wow. So you got, you got one more year that you have to be a parent. I mean, you can... Do you still be a parent after that? <laughs> you mean like an active, like... Yeah. Yeah, and his thing, <sighs> he every time he turns a new age, he's already like, next year I'll be 18. You know, I'm like, damn, shit. You're not rushing it? No, I'm not rushing it. I feel like I'm getting, and I have to keep on checking myself. And even his dad has like called me like a tree. You know, like you tell, he's trying not to stir the pot, but he's like, you got to loosen the reins. But then when I give him too much leeway, you know, like you give him, I'll, I'll be letting him do whatever he wants. And then he acts crazy. And I'm like, all right, we got to reel it back in. But he was like, well, I turn 18 next year. You'll still be in my house in high school. Yeah. So you will follow my yeah. rules of my house while you're still in high school in my house. Recently, um, Mendeecees and Yandy, Mendeecees oldest oh, son, yeah. turned 18. And they, like, pulled a prank on him where they were, like, downstairs, like, yes, he's 18 today. He can get the fuck out. Like, we packing his bags. I'm dropping him off at the bus stop. And they were like, I thought, if you want to go to college, you can. If you don't, you right. don't care. I thought that was so, so funny. He was like, what? What you mean? Y'all put me out. You 18. You mm-hmm. young. He got to get out. He's, he's 18. Oh, shit. Like Guess what? Guess what? Pack your bags. It's time for you to get out. Get out. Matter of fact. So I thought that was funny. You are now the mom of so, an over yeah, 18 year old. I was going to say, and it is a struggle because the struggle of the balance is real. Mm. Like we're still trying to, we're still trying to figure out like Sean's been 18 now for several months, six months. Exactly. But um, we're still trying to figure out that balance of like what's appropriate, like what's not like, and I've been like thinking about it. I'm like, Sean's a pretty good kid. Like I'd never like. He like when I'm thinking fun about like time, the stuff. Wait, that, Alicia, this is no, fun no, time. No. I know, I know, I know. They have grown with Sean over know, the past since 2018. We know Sean is Sean, but Sean is but such a well But when we get down to like the child. but the stuff like you know staying out late or like you know the stuff like kids now like drugs and drinking and stuff like that like. I don't have like those issues, right? Mm-hmm. And but this like late night thing, like we had to like really have a come to Jesus moment because is the old issue boy was coming, coming in like late? three three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, uh, bruh, yeah, this ain't yeah, that's water. not that's, fly. This is like every every weekday. Like it's just like on a Tuesday you coming at three a.m. Why? Wow. I mean, like, well, we I got off work. Out I went very out. late. At we, we 18 years old. We didn't have parents either. <laughs> and I lived on, oh my I God. I lived on my own. I was 18. Uh, November 11th. I mean, November <laughs> 8th. Is National Parents as a Teacher Day. Also, National Cappuccino Day. National Harvey Wall, Wall Banger Day. I thought you were going to say Harvey Weinstein. I was going to say, hmm. Why would I they say They should that? probably no, take no. that away. <laughs> so wait, I have a funny story about Harvey Wallbanger. So I used to drink it because I didn't want to just drink screwdrivers because like... Yeah, that's, that's so, what they say. It's like a twist so on a screwdriver. <laughs> right? So I went through this stage. I was like, oh, that's childish. Uh, give me a Harvey Wallbanger. But most and, bars and, bars and stuff... You knew what it was? Yeah, but most bars... If they have Galliano, they know what it is. Yeah, because well, everybody doesn't have really Galliano. popular like in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, yeah so you that. don't go everywhere and you see it. But one time I remember I was out with this guy that I was like messing with and some of his homeboys... And they had a bottle of Galliano. I said, Oh, you got Galliano. Can mm. you make me a Harvey Wallbanger? So the boss was like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll make you one. So, and I remember him looking at me like, and I was like, What? He was like, Can I see your ID, ma'am? Are you 67 <laughs> no, the years the old? The guy with looked at me like, He was like, Don't have a little shit like that with my homeboys in front of me. <laughs> I was like, 
What? Me feeling it's adequate. Since, since the name was Harvey Wallbanger. <laughs> okay, grow up. Oh, November 9th is National Scrapple Day. You missed something Ew. for November 9th. My mom's birthday. Oh, oh it's my best yay. friend's birthday. Not them. Yes. Not them. My, my, my real best friend. And Howie Catrice's mom. And my brother-in-law's birthday. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Howie assisted. He's Catrice's brother-in-law. Her sister and her brother-in-law also did my book cover. Mm-hmm. 1111, thank you to all the vets out there. Yes. And 1112 is National French Dip Day. Do you make French Dip? No. Like I French don't. onion dip with the mix? French onion dip and you buy the bitch. Hey, that shit be bought. Have you ever done the sour cream and you put the French onion soup mix in it? No. Oh, oh my no. God. I have to make it for y'all. You, it's right in the delicious. It is. Doesn't sound no, appetizing. Oh it just sounds good. I'm I can make see it. it. I'm going to make it for your birthday. I can see that. It, bitch, read fucking like Can I request dip. what I want made for my birthday? I don't want French onion soup. Actually, I, I want it. It's not dip. It's soup. It's soup. It's <laughs> Wait a minute. Why are we talking about her birthday? It passed two weeks ago. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and so did yours, bitch, a week ago. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Back to the future. I mean, they get it. I really tell them. Back to the future. <laughs> Bitch is so mad. We're talking about Sean birthday, which was 18 years ago. And then she went to school sailing. She ain't even about to say nothing. She did. Damn. I hope you, you, oh, you don't get any French onion dip. They're really going to be confused. I hope Talk you about didn't get any French onion dip for your birthday that already passed. <laughs> Okay. Maybe you can get some chicken noodle soup because it's national chicken, chicken, noodle, chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. Soul day as well. And it is also National Pizza with the Works except Anchovies okay. Day. Why I'm the so fuck is it so many fucking I days? Wanted, like, who decides to put can this into vote? Congress? Can we, can we like put one in a day? Do you know it took over 20 years for Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday to be observed, but we can have a fucking national pizza without without anchovies? anchovies? Without anchovies. Yeah, without anchovies. <sighs> I feel like I you guys will just make a day and just keep on saying it. You yeah, I'm just like... It a big enough deal. Hmm. You know, just we're going for a fun shit. time day. Fun time day. So we retire the podcast every Friday. We're going for a fun time day. All right. And these bitches mean it. Duh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, duh. So now we're going to take it back to the 90s. As you see, all of well, <laughs> a, me and Catrice are dressed in well, 90s graphic tees. Well, graphic tees were in style in the 90s. And I have a graphic tee that was in style in the 90s. Yes. Um, my Aaliyah one I could not find and bitch <laughs> this is what you got <laughs> so it was this or Selena's what what Selena? Selena? Well, because I felt like Selena was like Selena I thought she, she was, was like 90 I thought she was I gonna think I do it because she was Mexican and I, I didn't want you to think that it would have I know been but then I was like how I'll to cancel Alicia number 87 I didn't want you to think like I would right. 9,250,000 as you can see Catrice has the the heavyweight champion from Mike the 90s Tyson. Mike Me, Tyson I have Dion and what was his name yeah you don't Dion even know and, Cher uh, Mike no Maurice <laughs> Maury Maury, Maury. 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 What's Cher and I mean mm, what am I going to tell my Cher parents her name well, was Maurice because she called him Maurice, Maurice. okay yeah, yeah. Maury from Clueless, one of the biggest movies from the 90s. Rolling Stones. Mm. But I feel like those were from the They 90s. were, though. These were trending in the 90s. You didn't say, oh, that's, you didn't say uh, that's the, the black stone, 90s. That's 90s the graphic wore. tees. It is. It's, I feel like the stoners. What was the boys that was like the druggie? And, and Ty, no, Ty was, Ty's the, Ty was the girl. The, yeah, I don't the, remember the Ty's boy boyfriend name. Oh I feel my like God. he would have worn one of those. Yeah, probably. So I was recently on Instagram and I saw a video of a mom and her son. I little was boy. recently on Instagram. Bitch, we on Instagram every day. <laughs> recently, I popped on Instagram. Well, I don't want to say I was on Instagram on October 10th because then Alicia's <laughs> going to be like, whoa, what, a year ago? <laughs> a year ago. They know the dates. They know that this is so ordered in advance. One day, I was on Instagram and I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I came across a very funny video with a mom. She's recording her son. And usually when I'm watching videos, you know, my sound is off. But yes. our caption said he thought he ate. And I just see this little boy stomping around the street. 
So I turned the sound on. He was stepping on all the cracks because he was pissed oh, off trying to break with her his back. mother. <laughs> so he was stepping on all the cracks, trying to break his mama's back. Oh, and my she God. is like dying, laughing at him. Um, and then right after that, I saw something that said, a Delta looked way more affordable in the 90s. I feel scammed. I feel the exact I, I same definitely way. feel scared yeah. because that cheap ass motherfucking couch and furniture we had, where's all that cheap shit at now? Remember Why those commercials would come picture? on? They come in three parts. Exactly. It used to be eight piece, one ninety nine. Party yeah. at McDonald's, and, and you were happy. happy. You were happy. As Chalky fuck. cheese, Stat. a well, sheet and, cake, and sheet cake, cake. with the, the plastic toys balloons. were better. The toys were better. You used to get toys in your cereal boxes, so it's a two for one. I you're used getting to love it. And you're getting me all too. In you don't give a fuck. Look, everybody else got to eat all it. That like, fuck that. Where's my yeah. ring? The <laughs> chips, the little That's individual it. chips, were like four for a dollar. Four for the like, wrap snacks. Four for a dollar. Right? Candies, the little candies. Well, we, go, candies. we could go penny candy. Uh, Did you have penny candy where you're from, Catrice? Like a penny lady, like a candy. Lady? No, it was no, at a just store. Like penny candy, and they were little right? candies, and they cost one penny. So you, you give them a dollar, you get a hundred pieces. No, the closest thing was like. The party city. Oh, child, day. you don't know what you're saying. Party you city. What did they give you? Party city. Honey, you know I'm no. so sick of y'all. What did you? Honey, make you need a corner I'm store. I'm so sick of y'all attacking me for being a suburban girl. I cannot choose where I was raised. Oh my Wait. god. Wait. This is the privilege that coming out okay, so your voice. We are. We are all from Maryland. My. Obviously, Alicia and I are from West Baltimore, Maryland. West and side. actually, actually <laughs> my family on my dad's side. Oh, go ahead. Say, from, I said from Portsmouth. No, that's California. my mom's side. My family on my dad's side is from Portsmouth, Virginia. Look it up. Sounds poor. Thank you. It, it is. sounds poor. It is. It look, look. Well, where we were from. And I used to spend the summers there. So Okay. Where we girl, were from, we had dollar guys. stores. I mean, <laughs> we had dollar candy, penny candy, and at the corner, we, store. At the corner store. And you could go there and you could get a soda, they don't a have bag a of chips. Up. They were candy a dollar for a dollar. You were set for the for the day. Yeah, you got we chips, had, a juice, and like fifty pieces of candy for one dollar. Y'all ain't have an ice cream truck, man. Uh, oh yeah, we had an ice cream mm. truck, man. We also had a, a snowball pickle. lady when yes. you went up to her house and knocked on her door. Well, frozen cup lady, yeah, frozen cup lady, and a snowball lady. Wow, yes. you guys lived a life. Did you have a pickled onion lady? No, uh, no, we, we, we ate onion store. pickles, yeah. and the onion, onion pickles were also hey, we at the corner store. store. Or the ice cream truck. Mm. Yes. The ice cream truck. The closest store. we had was a Kmart we could walk to. Kmart. We did not have a Kmart in our neighborhood. No, that's all that we had. No, it was one Kmart on Wabash. Was it? See, that was too far on the other side of. That wasn't by my neighborhood. So we're all from Maryland, Spring. but Maryland is very It's very different. different. She's from it's PG different. County, Maryland, She's... where I now reside. But however, the area of PG County where you grew up, honey, is right outside of Southeast. No, it's not. I thought you like grew up off of St. Barnabas Atlanta. Lane. No, first of all, St. Barnabas Road. And I lived there. That Ooh. was our first house. <laughs> so we lived there for like... Mm. I don't know, three, four years. So again, mm, so that's if y'all you... know what St. Barnabas Road is, then these bitches better stop fucking trying me. Because Fulio and Catrice smoke okay. like this store. Because I'm Ooh. sick of this shit. Ooh. Ooh. Now oh, she, she looking at be shaking, shaking the table. table. Oh, she's shaking the table. Oh, now she looking for street cred. This me. big ass. Okay. Child, oh, this little lady finally decided to claim <laughs> something. Last time I talked to her about where she first, she's like, actually, from California. Santa Barbara. Oh, I actually, don't know. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. You said Santa Barbara. The only, the only Santa Barbara. And then my mother came here. Actually. We were so. out a couple of weeks ago, and this man Why, was like, oh, okay. so where are you from? I'm from Santa Barbara. <laughs> actually. Me. And I've heard it too. <laughs> So I know she ain't like that. Why are they on blast? Like, can I just be Ever, from my actually, around here? I'm from Santa Barbara. Barbara. But you are from around here. You I'm, from I'm, down the I'm street. I am so proud to be from PG County. No, you're I'm not. Like, no, you're not. Because you quit the part that Santa Barbara called, no, baby. No, because I also <laughs> like, am proud to be. Two. Draw two. Draw two. Santa, Santa Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Wait a second. I literally right. was just talking to a friend who is who lives in and, well, who's from Detroit? But he was like, "What is PG County? You always talk about PG County, saying PG County." And I was like, "Oh, that's where I'm from over here. I am very proud to be from PG County." And she was looking for street cred because he's from Detroit. <laughs> you know that's how she just slid that in there, right? He's from Detroit, so I didn't want to give him the he's Santa a Barbara gangster. card. I, no, he's not a gangster. <laughs> but I literally was like, "I do. I'm very, very, so incredibly proud to be from PG County. I don't know why by default I always say Santa Barbara." So in the '90s, okay. you lived in. 
in the 90s, I lived in PG County. Okay, thank you. I only you. lived so in Santa Barbara from. for like three or four years. We know. That's why we keep but telling you you're not from there. that's crazy that you claim it. <laughs> because you know what? That's the point you be saying. I'm going to California right now. I want to like, go to somebody school. Somebody asked me. So I'd be like. So you got to rep your set. I have a lot of sets to rep. I wouldn't even say the first neighborhood that I really lived in until I was like seven. Because I'd be like, well, that's not when I was really off the porch. And like, that's you know how what I mean? feel. Like, like when I was off the porch, I mean, right, people I say I was from this neighborhood. I talk all the time about the house that I grew up in. That is the house that, that's my house. When I was one to three years old, my parents were married and lived on the east side. Never in I my life. Like I'm actually on the east side. I'm from the east side of Baltimore. I'm telling them literally where I'm from. Well, I am from University of Maryland <laughs> Hospital. <laughs> and I'm from... <laughs> And I'm from Sinai. <laughs> <Where I was laughs> <born. 'Cause, laughs> so, oh if you know, you know. Now that I'm conscious about it, people won't think I'm lying. They gonna be like, "Where are you from?" No, I don't, I don't think, think you're lying. County. We just think it's wow. Oh, wow. I'm just going to say PG County for now on. Oh, no. So speaking of the 90s, mm. recently, <laughs> the commercials that have been coming on have been very 90s nostalgic. I was watching the other day and I heard Mr. Owl. Do you know how I many lipstick takes to get to the, to the center? I was at the screen. Pop. It was the same exact what? old school commercial. Oh, that made me so chill. I don't know if they're like bringing in, trying to bring Tootsie's back. But what, how many licks did it take? Three. No, one? it shows a one, two, two. 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 <laughs> it was two. Two. Like, well, and then yeah, I, oh, yeah, but then yeah. the owl just looked at him like, it's gone. There you go. Bitch. So what are some of like your... Nostalgic like commercials, things that give you all the like feels back to childhood. That gave me a feel. I, I follow this this page called like '90s something, mm. and they play all of these things that literally be making me want to tear up so bad. <laughs> and I cried from two different things they posted. One was like the intro to like Nickelodeon, to like Nick at oh, Night, yes. to like the sound of like a Nintendo 64 turned mm. on or a Sega. Speaking, Sega. Speaking of yes, Nintendo and I was 64, like, yes. I was tearing up, and I was like, what the fuck? But speaking of Nintendo 64, and this is going to make us feel old as shit. Speak for yourself, honey. I know, because baby, I'm here. Recently, Nintendo 64 celebrated their 27th anniversary. Damn. It came out 27 years ago. We're also the same age as the, what's their names from Good Times? We are not 27. (laughs) That's no, the age no, 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 no,
It doesn't feel Everything like feels Holly fake Jolly. now. Exactly. So a few other things. Alicia and I were talking. We know McDonald's does not change their menu up very often but when they do once in a while they really get one i know a lot of people talk about they always want the mcrib back i've never had a mcrib no. i don't ever want to taste one never have but alicia what do you feel like mcdonald's needs to bring oh, back oh man they really missed their caller with this one what fucking salad shaker me too oh, oh, that's that's a shaker. Shaker. It's it's so the mac shaker even though it didn't really mix it well like no, but I was addicted I it to the mac than shaker. Just being in a bowl, and you I'm gotta, like, but you know that was you know they never have, they don't even have salad anymore. They eliminated any salads from. They don't have year. salad apparently or ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> but, never had that. Allegedly, they don't have ice cream. <laughs> But yeah, the ice cream machine is broken. And I feel like broken. they really missed their mark with like not bringing that back. Like you brought back the McRib, but in the health craze, you didn't bring back the salad shaker. Who the ever the fuck is running McDonald's <laughs> CEO? You, big, big mistake. Huge, huge, huge. 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 Um, you really I fucked up with that one. Like, you fucked up with that one. Like, <laughs> yeah. People talk about the wraps. The little they want them the to little dollar wraps. Oh, yeah. I remember, remember them really too. That, the that wasn't my were. thing, but them shakers and out, the shaker man. They had me so good. I don't remember the, the shit commercial. Shaker commercials. They used to be dancing down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shakers. speaking of that though, okay, we talk about commercials, infomercials back in the day. I saw oh. them recently for the the shake weight. It was, oh, it's that so is so appropriate. Like, it's like uh, uh, and they used to, and everybody like. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's but you know what? Even as weird as it looks, I really wanted one. Like it was something that just made you want to feel like what did it You know, my mom no, had an ab roller. My mom had an ab roller. I had an ab roller. No, an ab roller was like no, the no, thing. No, no, yeah, you fold it out. It's like a chair. No, no, my mom yeah. had that one. I had the funny one. thigh one. Um, oh, and that was, was like when Suzanne yeah. Summers. Was that Suzanne Summers? Yeah, oh, that was, was Suzanne oh, Summers. It was. Yes. And Suzanne Summers was a bad I remember my baby father stole my ab. Um, it's Ab Lounge. That's what it was called. Oh, it's Ab it? Lounge. Yeah, he stole my Ab Lounge. And, one. and he gave it to his other baby mother. But he told oh. me, I was like, where's the Ab Lounge, right? And he was like, I don't know, you must have lost it. I'm like, how do you lose an Ab Lounge in an apartment? <laughs> And you believe like, it? Did she get no, any ass? I, said, I called. He didn't know I was talking to her at the time. Called Kelly. Was like, did he bring an ab lounge over there? She was like, yeah, this stupid motherfucker bought this ab lounge over there. <laughs> he about bought, it? He bought it from somebody <laughs> with no box, no box, no nothing. Nah. I said, girl, get my ab lounge big. Now we always talk about. <laughs> We always talk about the kids now having like social media and what it does to them. But what we had was AOL chat rooms. I was never. You were. Oh, you were a chat room girl. I was a chat room girl. Ash was a chat room girl. I was not. I was that afraid girl. of weirdos too. Let me tell you, all, my, never my picture was not me. I was definitely a catfish before I even knew what catfish was. I think I had a picture of like Aaliyah as my like I'm pretty profile sure you did. picture. Yeah, great idea. Yeah, but nobody ever caught on. What the hell yeah. is this? What the fuck? This is it's, it's so different. No, it's so different. Was your name? Is is that? Like, no, you my to name you? was like pop. And this is the crazier thing oh, because oh my, my fake Alicia. What's my fake name? Monica. Yeah, but so it's a picture like, of Aaliyah with the name Monica. That's what I'm confused. And then they would ask you AS, ASL. Do y'all know what that means? Age, sex, sex location. location. And then yeah, you were right back. Like and what you it were was. right back. It, what How age? Old would you say? 16, 17. Yeah, you will always bump your age up a little bit. I was probably like 12. But no, what was your age though? Did my you real say? age your was response. like 12. But yeah, my response was always like 16 at least. Yeah. And what was your location? It was never Maryland. I would say like Florida. And I hadn't been Santa anywhere Barbara. really. So you say <laughs> I'm from Santa Barbara. <laughs> My name is Selena, and I'm from Santa, Santa Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no, Ashley yeah. was definitely a chat room girl. Like you were even at the high like, school. Yo. I still was really. Yeah, I was, was into chat room. You were what like, like what Black Planet like, first came out. Yeah, I remember you, you had a Black talked. Planet, and he was like, "Look, I'm on this Black." And I was oh, like, black I, "I was on there." And, and I never. And I was like, "This." Yeah, I was like, but I don't give a fuck about but that. But I was like, "Chat rooms predated." MySpace and yeah. Black, um, yeah. Black just, Panda and all never of that. Like this, I was but never like that. But you know like what that. I would do sometimes? Well, no, I just, I was literally about to lie. But a lot of my friends would do before even AOL was, they were the, 
the groups you can call in. Like you would just call. See, that sounds like that's weird. Yeah, that's fucking weird. People on there, and, and what it would, would they be line. saying? It's a party line. That's what it was. Yeah. And what would y'all be saying? Norm- I, th- I think I've only done it like twice because I don't want my parents to be. Pissed what are you off. wearing? So I would be like at a friend's house. No, it was just they would just be talking about shit. It's like a bunch of it, most. And of then the adults like were kids. listening to y'all. Probably. I mean, I don't know what an adult is, but adults probably. <laughs> Fuck you. Adults are from Santa Barbara. (laughs) No, they're not. Okay. God. (laughs) Good one. So for you guys, what sucked as a child, but is awesome as an adult? Ooh. Adult. Ah, uh, napping. Naps are number one. Yes, number naps are one number one. Go to sleep. Go to bed in general. Yes, like, go on. home. Stay in your room. I never knew like how like much like I would like to like actually take a rest. Yeah. <laughs> Someone please tell me go home and stay in my right. room. Right. Please put me in my room. Please. Be- please say you're not talking to me no more. Being grounded <laughs> sucks as a kid, but being able to ground is very powerful. Oh no. I don't I like, do I don't not like, grounding. like punishing I don't my like kids. Punishing. Because it is more of a like punishment, punishment for the for parent yeah, never like punishment. than it is for the kids. Mm-hmm. Yep. Every time. So Ashton like probably has never really been punished because when Antonio used to get punished as a child, five seconds later, he, he is in my face. You. Oh, so you're watch not saying TV. you don't like to not punish your kids, not for the kids' it's, sake. It's for your sake. Yes, because yes. now they want to watch TV. TV. They want to be a bonder. You didn't want to talk. Right. Now I got to I was a babysit you. Then I you mean, keep on talking to me that, about shit. But I feel like even with Ashton, like if he going too crazy or whatever, I'm like, you go to your room. For me now, that's quiet time. So maybe it's because it's a little one. Or with CJ, it is very much, you keep going, you keep trying me, you keep trying me, you keep trying. Okay, you're not going nowhere this weekend. I, but I punish like, now. Yeah, but now, now I punish. Now I gotta, now I gotta make sure you're not going nowhere. If you're not doing what you're supposed right, to do, right? But I'm saying, but you say you take pleasure in it. I don't take pleasure. No, in I it. didn't say I take pleasure. Yeah, in you it. said something you said that something you like. like. No, you, you said something that was okay. Yeah, that was the question. Well, I read it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you, read, you heard that Santa Barbara education. I went to school in PG County. We know that was the point. Science and tech school. I wasn't in the God. science and tech program though. But we I know. have a lot of friends that were. So we by, would have been by in the science and tech program. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> we were in the best academic and then went to the smartest high school. I was in AP in classes and graduated with a 414. If Honey, you want to put our every, dicks on the table. Well, mm-hmm. we went to Baltimore City. Oh, we went to Baltimore City. You can't go to the best high school Listen, in Maryland. Exactly. I did Baltimore, go to the best high school. The Baltimore City College, College High right, School. Where everybody, look, <laughs> that wasn't the best you in Maryland. You couldn't, County. Maybe in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, County. Maybe in B more. You couldn't even get in unless you had like a 90 average coming out of middle school. So, honey, you wouldn't have and been I had there. a perfect Honey, MSAP we test. Were, we were actually ranked in, in on the East Coast. Thank, Thank you guys for tuning in to Fun Time Moms. I'm Ashley Brittany. And I'm Alicia. And I'm Catrice. Let them know where they can find you. At yes. The Funny Mama, um, M-O-M-M-A. Or you can find me on either one of their stories, being drunk, <laughs> doing karaoke. <laughs> oh, oh maybe not uh-huh. karaoke because we got put out last time with a karaoke. Another story for another, another, story another day. For another anyway. Day. We did. We, we enjoyed having got, you. We almost got maced. We enjoyed yeah. having you. Cheers. I never want to get maced with anybody but you two. Oh, oh I don't want to get any of these. No, oh. we didn't get maced. It was oh, completely nice. unwarranted. Yeah. Yes, but, but you know, yeah. if I had to, couldn't choose two better fellows. Oh, <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>